This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Tonight on the South Today, residents evacuated from 100 homes following last night's fire at Burnside in Dunedin are allowed to return home. Southland firefighters battle a large fire in a forest company yard. And fire and emergency service crews are ecstatic to see the arrival of heavy rain across the South. Kia ora, good evening, I'm Melissa Barton. Residents evacuated from 100 homes following last night's fire at Burnside in Dunedin were allowed to return home this morning. Incident controller Phil Marsh says that the exact cause of the fire is still being investigated. A fire broke out at around 5 o'clock yesterday evening in the suburb of Burnside. Six helicopters, 25 fire appliances and up to 100 firefighters were called to the blaze, which damaged at least three industrial buildings. A hundred houses were also evacuated. Clouds of dark grey smoke were seen from vantage points across the city yesterday evening. Friends up over here, possibly getting evacuated. Um, they're coming here now, and sort of this side of Melbourne Street is going to get evacuated soon too, by the sounds of it. Oh good. Um, you can see, you see the smoke going right up over towards the ocean. Yeah. So, yeah. DJ Champion says he was driving home when he first spotted the fire on a hill at a garden waste disposal area. There were a few explosions um, earlier on. Uh, it's a bit worrisome, especially seeing the uh, firefighters evacuating um, a lot of the residents. I think it's down in Concord there. Um, yeah. Hopefully they stop the fire before it crosses the, the motorway. Following the day's 34 degree heat, today it was a different story thanks to a change in the weather. The fire burned through about 20 hectares of vegetation and 2,000 tonnes of logs. Things are still smouldering as diggers cover hot spots aided by the 8 mils of rain from the early hours. The motorway has since reopened and residents have been told this morning they can return to their homes. Staff at the St Clair Golf Club say nearly 100 people and pets passed through the doors of a nearby evacuation centre during the night. Assistant Area Commander and Incident Controller Phil Marsh says heavy rain and the work of crews overnight means the fire is now contained. He says no one's house burned down and no one was injured, but he could not confirm the cause or origin of the fire. This discussion that originated at um, behind the meatworks. Oh, look, there'll be a lot of people that'll um, have quite a bit to say and, and a lot of uh, evidence that'll have to be taken. But until we've got that in, we can't say anything currently. Specialist crews continue to work on the fire, with the mop up expected to take several days. Fire and emergency are now gearing up for 50 mils of rainfall and potential flooding. Rosella Bone, The South Today. Following on from that story, the fire crunching rain that has turned into a flood causing school closures. Parents at some South Dunedin schools received notices at lunchtime that the schools would be closing as soon as possible. Heavy persistent rain began falling in the early hours of this morning as the country is feeling the effects of ex-cyclone Fehi. At noon, parents of Bathgate Park school pupils were asked to collect their children as soon as possible, with other schools following suit. Well, the DCC and the Ministry of Education have been in contact with each other uh, with concerns about the water levels here for Dunedin, South Dunedin in particular. There is a high tide expected later on this afternoon. There is a huge rain uh, fall anticipated late this afternoon and just with some of the road conditions that have already started to present themselves uh, they are advising some schools to contact their board and make the call on whether schools need to close or not. Katrina Robertson says they've closed due to health and safety concerns. Uh, Bathgate Park School with a number of other local South Dunedin schools are currently in the process of working through the early closure procedures to make sure that children are relocated to their parents and that um, we can get everyone um, home safely and this is, decision has been based on a health and safety matter. 
At lunchtime, flooding in Forbury Road appeared similar to the one in a hundred year floods of three years ago. Darrell Baser here for the south today on Forbury Road in Dunedin. Behind me is one of the uh, water system covers. It's being literally pushed up by the amount of water that is flowing through the drainage system. This appears just like the previous uh, serious South Dunedin floods. In the early afternoon, flooding had been reported across the city as far south as Mosgiel. And by 2.30, a civil defence emergency was called. Um, we declared a state of emergency at 2.20 this afternoon, uh, mostly because there was an imminent risk of the floodwaters surcharging the wastewater system and pushing out, obviously, waste um, onto, into the floodwaters, uh, at which point we will have to evacuate, in, very likely, uh, and we, we needed a state of emergency for that. So that's the, the, the catalyst. Uh, even though we knew that there was likely to be um, some flooding for some time. Daryl Beza, The South Today. Southland firefighters battled a large fire in a forest company yard between Invercargill and Bluff yesterday. Sharon Rees has more. Five helicopters and 12 fire crews were deployed to a large fire at Southwood Export Limited on Bluff Highway on Wednesday evening. Flames had been fanned by strong winds, spreading the fire across a pile of vegetation and dry grass along the highway. The fire has been contained, but a fire and emergency spokeswoman said today the area is still smouldering and could take up to four days to be put out completely. She said it was still too early to determine a cause, but urged the public to remember Southland is still under a total fire ban despite heavy rain in the region. Sharon Rees. The South today. Southland has also received heavy rainfall today, prompting flood warnings for many places across the region. Sharon Rees has more. Southland receiving less rainfall than forecast meant floods weren't as bad as expected, but still enough to keep contractors busy throughout Invercargill. Persistent rain since the early hours of the morning saw surface flooding in multiple areas around the city, including Otapuni Avenue and Cree Street in Glengarry. Fulton Hogan contractors said they had been working all day to unblock drains, which was the primary reason for the flooding. Earlier today, Environment Southland issued flood warnings for rivers in rural areas, including the Porokino River near Thornbury, which was 1.4 metres above average this afternoon and rising around 600 millimetres per hour. Emergency Management Southland are encouraging residents to ensure drains around their properties are clear and said heavy rainfall is expected until at least 9pm. Sharon Rees, The South Today. Fire and emergency service crews are ecstatic to see the arrival of heavy rain across the south. Officials say the rain has helped reduce the fire risk dramatically, but the question of whether the drought will return still remains. Mina Amso has more. Ex-tropical cyclone Fahey delivered more than 60 mils of rain in Queenstown today, six times the amount that fell in the whole of January. Drenching parched land and bringing the fire risk to a minimum. Over 55 millimetres of rain has fallen in the Wakatipu region since midnight last night. But Meat Service meteorologist Tui McInnes told the South today the rain is expected to ease from mid to late evening today. Tomorrow morning we'll, we'll be into showery conditions, but this main persistent rain dips this afternoon, starts to ease this evening and starts to clear overnight as the southerlies come in and we in, enter sort of a showery regime. Deputy Principal Rural Fire Officer Mark Mawani is ecstatic but not too optimistic that the fire risk won't arise again this summer. We've still got a decent chunk of the summer to go, uh, so the re relief that we've got now probably only lasts last about a week. Mawani says Queenstown will get weather patterns that could bring back the heat and low humidity. Wind is increasing in the afternoon, um, dropping relative humidities, and that's where we lose all our moisture from the rain. He says a total fire ban remains in place and people need to be vigilant. If we continue to get the odd shower then it'll stay low but the way the season's been going so far it'll continue to climb back to the levels before we got this rain. A total fire ban remains in place until April. As for the next few hours the Met Service has a heavy rain warning in place for Queenstown. Otago Regional Council Director of Engineering Hazards and Science Gavin Palmer says 
Rivers could rise rapidly, and the heavy rain could trigger sediment runoff in the Queenstown area. The Queenstown Lakes District Council is warning of rapidly rising river levels near Glenorchy, where over 60 mils of rain has fallen. And the Otago Regional Council and Emergency Management Otago will be keeping a close watch on rainfall and river levels overnight. Mina am so this afternoon. Still to come on the south today, drivers are reminded to keep road safety front in mind if travelling this Waitangi weekend. And from dust storms to heavy rain, we have more on the weather. For all your news from the southern regions as it happens, go to our Facebook page. The South Today, connecting you with your community thanks to New Zealand On Air. Gillian's Care. They care for loved ones, families, friends and our community. At a time of bereavement, care and support makes all the difference. And Gillian's know this. They're here for you when you need it most. From advanced funeral planning to a service for your loved one, Gillian's will guide and assist you with your individual choices. Their legendary attention to detail and passion to get it right are second to none. Gillian's. Caring for families in our community since 1962. Hi, I'm Dennis Charlotte and road racing motorcycles is my lifetime passion. It's a massive adrenaline rush but the high speed crashes have been tough on the body over the years. I almost felt as old as my mate Ian. Sportsville, supporting tendons, ligaments and cartilage. And Energy Plus helps replace the energy that everyday living takes away. Now I feel more alive and have more sustained energy to really enjoy my racing. Buy two packs of Sportsville and get two packs of Energy Plus absolutely free. So call now 0800 502 402. While you're relaxing this holiday season, Ready Lawn is available to help you with your lawn needs, big or small. We work so you don't have to. Call Ready Lawn today. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. The Terminus Apartments. Where heritage meets modern sophistication and where the past is Dunedin's future. These one or two bedroom apartments are fitted with modern amenities, room to move and spectacular harbour and city views. Contact us now to have your piece of luxury. For three generations, the Kilpatrick family have ensured Jimmy's Pies are still world famous in the South Island. Made to an old family recipe, Jimmy's Pies have been one of New Zealand's traditional takeaway foods, prepared daily on the premises alongside a range of savouries, sausage rolls and cakes, Jimmy's Pies are distributed throughout the Lower South Island. Jimmy's Pies are sure to satisfy your travelling munchies. Thinking of services for older people, think Enliven. Enliven is a service philosophy where people come first. Enliven is about choice, activity, relationships, respect and security. You can enliven your health, your friendships, your life, no matter what your age. For more information, go to psitago.org.nz or call 4777-115. Free heart transmission. Please open your heart. Chi is flowing freely. Chi is nourishing. Chi is loving. Call Sunny Chin for peace in your heart. Calling all Otago superheroes. The 2018 Relay for Life needs your team. On March 17 and 18, the Relay teams will join together to create one of the most inspiring events, helping not only to raise funds, but also to remember those who have fallen to cancer or are struggling with it. To register your team, simply go to the website and sign on, then start fundraising. It's about celebrating, remembering and fighting back. 
Be a superhero and register now at relayforlife.org.nz. Welcome back. A New Zealand charity is urging drivers to keep road safety front of mind if they're travelling this Waitangi weekend. With a number of festivals, concerts and other events taking place over the weekend, many people will be travelling to activities or visiting family and friends, and the charity break is reminding drivers to plan their journeys and prioritise the safety of their passengers, other road users and themselves. With the egg cyclone Fehe also affecting New Zealand, the charity is reminding drivers to drive to the conditions slow down and increase the gap to the vehicle in front. Before last night's change to heavy rain, dust storms were blowing in central Otago. The south today happened to drive right through one. Weeks without rain, followed by strong winds, created the ideal circumstances for dust storms in central Otago. Mid-afternoon yesterday saw a large dust storm envelop the Luggett Terrace Highway on Hawea Flat. The dark brown clouds were clearly visible from many places around the region. The reduced visibility meant that nearby Kane Road was closed and a wind-thrown tree reduced State Highway 8A to a single lane. Ready Adrian, The South Today. After the break on the south today, the west coast feels the impact of tropical cyclone Fihi and Geraldine gets ready to hold the annual fundraiser Reload for Life. Here is this week's Mole Map UV report. Did you know New Zealanders have the highest incidence rate of melanoma in the world? If you've ever been on a sunbed, or been badly sunburnt, what are the chances you could have melanoma? Remove the doubt. Get a mole map. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. Hi, I'm Dennis Charlotte and road racing motorcycles is my lifetime passion. It's a massive adrenaline rush but the high speed crashes have been tough on the body over the years. I almost feel as old as my mate Ian. Sportsvel, supporting tendons, ligaments and cartilage. And Energy Plus helps replace the energy that everyday living takes away. Now I feel more alive and have more sustained energy to really enjoy my racing. Buy two packs of Sportsvel and get two packs of Energy Plus absolutely free. So call now 0800 502 402. 135 Cumberland Street is a brand new recently listed Category 1 heritage building right in Dunedin's Warehouse Precinct. Only a short walk to the Octagon in the central city. These are warm, well insulated, self contained apartments with all you need for a short or long stay. With beautiful views onto the harbour, these Airbnbs at 135 Cumberland Street come highly recommended for your stay in Dunedin. At the Hard to Find Bookshop, we sell quality books on all subjects from the rare to the recent. And where viable, we will come to you. We have a great reputation for integrity and honesty. So if you're downsizing or sorting an estate and have books to sell, contact us. Oh, I'm not happy with this product demonstration, Ralphie. Oh, relax. It's all about balance. The balance between softness and strength. And my balance is perfect. Mm, so we won't fall. Of course not. Hi, Ralphie. Oh, hey, oh. you all. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you fell for it. Yep, I fell for it. Cotton Softs. Softness and strength you can trust. I'm Cotton Soft on the environment, too. While you're relaxing this holiday season, Ready Lawn is available to help you with your lawn needs, big or small. We work so you don't have to. Call Ready Lawn today.
loss of collagen is the reason for those fine lines and wrinkles. Silverhorns Collagen Plus naturally supports your collagen levels, giving you younger, firmer looking skin, healthier, shinier hair and stronger nails. Joints, tendons, ligaments and cartilage all benefit from healthy collagen levels, the very foundation of structural health. Support collagen levels naturally with Collagen Plus by Silverhorn. Be quick, buy one now and get a second pack half price. Call now 0800 502 402. Helping New Zealanders to do more. Talk to MTF today. Active interior design in Mornington are the curtain and blind experts. The team can even advise you on outdoor products like awnings and umbrellas and will ensure that everything is perfect. For interior design with flair, call Active to book your free in-home consultation or call into the showroom in Mornington. Countdown on Maru is closed this afternoon as a result of heavy rain that has lashed the area over the past several hours. Signs are up on the doors of Thames Street Supermarket advising customers the premises is closed due to public safety risks, while a barrier was erected at the, rest, the base of a ramp leading up to the main entrance. The West Coast felt the impact of tropical cyclone Fihi today, with wind and water damage affecting many towns in the region. The South today was on the scene. The Greymouth CBD became a ghost town today while police and fire services closed off streets as ferocious winds downed power lines, ripped off several roofs and flung debris down the streets. Houses on several roads around the region had to be evacuated during the day. Two of Greymouth's largest fishing boats, Ocean Odyssey and Moonshadow, tried to cross the bar this morning, with one very nearly being slammed into the rocks. Rudy Adrian, The South Today. And Transpar have announced that Hokutika South will be, can expect to be without power for at least 24 hours. Geraldine is to become the next of many South Canterbury towns to hold the annual fundraiser Relay for Life. The South today met up with Cancer Society workers to find out more. South Canterbury's Relay for Life is moving from its traditional location at Timaru's Caroline Bay over to Geraldine. This move is in response to suggestions from the community. South Canterbury manager Leola Smith said Relay for Life was an important part for the community. So Relay is about celebrating those survivors that are currently going through their cancer journey. It's about remembering loved ones lost to cancer and it's about fighting back against this awful disease. So 24 people just in the last 12 months have had cancer uh, have heard the words you have cancer within the Geraldine district. We've also had 329 people walk through our doors in the last 12 months and it's just too many. Obviously the money that we raise all goes back to our patients so the more we raise the more we can do for our patients locally. South Canterbury Cancer Supportive Care member Michelle Robertson said that fundraising as well as celebration was an important aspect of the relay. The biggest thing about Relay, apart from the fundraising too, is it's about our survivors. It's about celebrating, remembering and fighting back. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to it being a family fun event in Geraldine this year. Um, but in the same time, we really do need those funds to keep doing what we're doing. South Canterbury's Relay for Life will be held in Geraldine on Saturday, 10th of March. Rudy Adrian, The South Today. And now a look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT. Welcome Craig Page. What have you got for us in tomorrow's paper? Uh, not surprising. It's all about the floods uh, for us to, today and tomorrow. Um, oh, yeah, really? We'll, be <laughs> well, yeah. Um, obviously, state of emergency declared in Dunedin. We've had staff out there talking to South Dunedin residents who, who seem to have bore the, the brunt of it today. Um, just waiting nervously, really, to see what, how high that flood water will go and whether we'll be back in their homes again. Um, we've talked to one Dunedin man who was out on a street trying to stop cars going through it because as they go through quickly, they're, they're pushing waves through to his home. And he, he's been flooded twice that way and tried to stop a couple of cars, actually got hit by one of them who refused to stop. So he's, he's pretty angry as well about the whole thing. Yeah, I would be too because they don't slow down at all. No, they don't. 
don't. I mean, the rain seems to have eased a bit now, but um, there's still concerns about how high that water will go. An evolving event, and we'll be keeping tabs on it on our website throughout tonight as well. Um, of course, fly fires last night, we've uh, got a bit of a clean up there as well. We've been out talking to Greenway Stone and Bill Bob Galanders, who, who lost about $80,000 worth of equipment in the fire. He's, he's right in the midst of it up there. Not sure where the future is for his business. Um, yeah, it could have been a lot worse, though, if not for the, the great work from firefighters and the, and the helicopters out there as well. Lots of homes under threat last night but they managed to stop it and the rain was a great help as well. I know and can't we just say that those those fire and emergency services do the most amazing job? Oh certainly earning the yeah. money in the last 48 hours that's for sure because yeah. they're out of, out of the floods today. Bit of a quirky court story actually about a man who uh, became so enraged by the sound of newborn, lamb, newborn lambs over a back fence at a neighbouring property that he uh, Went, to, went over and threatened the neighbour and the lambs. Um, he's now ended up in seven years in jail, oh, sorry, seven months in jail for that. Uh, yeah, it was just finding it a bit, a bit uh, weary, so had enough. Well, I could, I could understand drills, but lambs, they're yes, cute. It is. Wonderful. Tough. Well, something for everyone in tomorrow's ODT. And now it's time for a look at tomorrow's weather. This weather update is proudly brought to you by Silverhorn Collagen Plus. Looking at the situation, enough with the scary weather, rain and winds will ease tonight but the next couple of days will remain cloudy and cool for southern districts with a few showers at times on the south coast as weak fronts wash past. More southwesterly airflow is expected early next week. To the southern outlook, Balclutha, Catlins, Gore and Lumsden, you all have moderate southerlies, a few showers and 14 degrees. To the central outlook, Alexandra, Wanaka and Queenstown, moderate, moderate southerlies, mostly cloudy and 15 degrees. Tianau, moderate southerlies, few showers and 14 for you. To the northern outlook, Omaru and Timaru, decreasing southwesterlies, cloudy and 14 degrees. Amarama, moderate southerlies, becoming fine and 15. And Twizel with a slightly higher 16 degrees. Here in Dunedin tonight, rain easing and clearing early tomorrow with southwesterly gales decreasing with an overnight low of 10 degrees. Tomorrow mostly cloud and cold, refreshed to strong gusty southwesterlies decreasing slowly. A few brief showers possible late afternoon, 14 and 9, and mostly cloudy on Saturday but some sunny periods developing late in the day. Cool southwesterlies drying out and 15 and 9 degrees. In the cargo tonight, rain easing to showers with strong gusty southerlies decreasing with an overnight low of 9 degrees. Tomorrow cloudy with a few showers, fresh cold southerly winds easing, 13 and 9. Fine on Saturday with sunny periods and some cloud and moderate southwesterlies, 14 and 11 degrees. That's our news for this Thursday. For the latest news from the Southern Region, you can follow us on Facebook and at channel39.co.nz. I hope you all have a great evening. Stay dry, take care. Ka kite ono. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.